for a devotional today, I'm going to be sharing with you something that one of my favorite authors, Ruth Haley Barton, has written. She wrote a little book of reflections on walking through the Lenten season together. And this particular chapter is entitled, An Invitation to Walk with Christ During Holy Week. So I'm going to share this chapter with you, and after I read it, there'll be a prayer and a question for reflection to take with us into this week. Holy Week is a bizarre juxtaposition of two kinds of passion. In the early part of the week, we witnessed the passion of a hyped-up crowd screaming their affirmation that Jesus is King as he rides humbly into Jerusalem on a borrowed donkey. Later in the week, we witness Jesus' own passion as he walks resolutely into the final stages of God's plan for our redemption. Many churches that worship liturgically and follow the lectionary live both passions on the sixth Sunday of Lent. They stage a processional with palm branches early in the service and then read the liturgy of the Passion in its entirety later on in the service. In the church where I worship, the whole congregation participates in the liturgy of the Passion by reading the part spoken by the fickle crowd. It is very sobering to move from crying out in loud voices, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, to shouting, crucify him, crucify him. It's a true beginning to the intense and conflicting emotions of this week in which we seek ways to walk with Christ and to participate in his passion. Holy Week is the week in which we as Christians give ourselves most fully and completely to worship. Every year at this time, we have the opportunity to choose as best as we can to deepen our friendship with Christ by staying with Him and learning from Him as we journey from the triumph of Palm Sunday through the darkness and the death of the crucifixion to the victory of the resurrection. As we seek ways to share the events of this week with Jesus, we respond to his deep and consistent desire to be with those he loves, those whom he has chosen. Make no mistake, the invitation to walk with Christ through the events of Holy Week is a challenging one. It is an invitation to learn how to be like Christ, not just during the triumphs of Palm Sunday when everything is just as we hoped it would be, but also how to be like Christ in the midst of betrayal and violence and pain and struggle and, finally, death. If we're honest, we might admit that we would prefer to skip right to the resurrection as Barbara Brown Taylor once commented, I want to stop about a day short of following Jesus all the way. As challenging as it is, walking with Christ during Holy Week, it's a part of our discipleship. It's an act of love and friendship with Christ, a gift of staying present with Him during the hardest and most unnerving parts of His journey. We do this because he's asked us to remain near him, awake and alert. It is the gift of ourselves, which is the truest gift that we have to give. And so let us pray together as we enter into this holy week. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but he first suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully, grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the question for reflection that Ruth Haley Barton leaves us with is, what plans will I make to walk with Christ during this Holy Week? How will I share in His suffering so that I can also experience His resurrection power? 
May God bless us all as together we journey towards the cross during this holiest of weeks. Go in peace.